Hello guys, Jesse Tilleth here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about three different training goals accomplished through weightlifting. So the first one is strength, second one is hypertrophy, and the third one is endurance. So starting off, when we talk about strength, we are essentially talking about how much weight you can lift. That's it. All right, so getting stronger, yesterday I could lift 100 pounds, today I can lift 105. That's increasing my strength. When we talk about hypertrophy, hypertrophy is actually how big your muscle gets. Like structurally, your muscle is getting bigger and you'll be able to see that um, if you're doing a ton of bicep curls and you're going for hypertrophy, you will see the physical muscle grow. But let's say you're a person who, you know, you want to get stronger, but you don't want to look bigger. Okay. Strength would be your goal. For that person who wants to physically increase the size of your muscle, we would go for hypertrophy. Um, and then if you're a person who, you know, maybe you have a job that's super repetitive, maybe you're a factory line worker and you are constantly doing this and, you know, it's not heavy weight but you get fatigued after a while and your muscles just kind of burn out because you don't have that muscular endurance. All right guys, so when we look at strength, the variables that we're kind of targeting, so for sets, three to six sets, all right, reps, four to six, and then a two to three minute rest in between each of those sets. So you don't wanna be overly fatigued when you complete each set, right? You wanna take an adequate rest and get full recovery so that you're at your absolute best for every single set because again this is a neuromuscular adaptation meaning you're not going for that pump you're just going for lifting super super heavy weight so your brain is recruiting more of those muscle fibers guys moving on hypertrophy hypertrophy is increasing the physical muscle size or the appearance of that muscle so we're going to go two to three sets eight to twelve repetitions followed by a 60 to 75 second rest so for these because it's no longer a neuromuscular adaptation, we don't need to have full recovery. That's why this recovery or this rest break is shorter because we want to feel that pump when we're going for hypertrophy and feel that burn in the muscle. Right, guys, our third training goal is endurance. And this is how many times I can lift a weight up and down, All right? We're going to go two to three sets followed by 12 to 20 repetitions. Uh, and then about a 30 to 45 second rest. For these, we don't want to be fully recovered. We want to tax the muscle and try to get it to do as many repetitions as we can with a small, small break. With any of these training goals, guys, we need to go pretty close to failure. If we're going through the motions with any of these, our body is going to say, I don't need to change. I don't need to adapt. I don't need to create more muscle tissue because I'm not being stressed, right? Stress creates change. All right, so go one to two reps short of failure. Right, so if we're doing hypertrophy and we're at eight to 12 reps is our target, we should stop at 12 if we feel like we can only do two more, if we only feel like we could do 14, all right? Same thing, if we can do 12 to 20 repetitions, but 22 is our absolute max, that's still okay to stop at 20 because research shows that if we leave one or two reps left in the tank, you're gonna get the same training benefit as if you were to go to failure.